where we talk about the facts, foolishness, and black female fuckery. Today's video we have Pink Book Lessons and Dr. Umar is going in on Ricky Smiley and Steve Harvey for simping and crashing out over Kamala Harris. You know, trying to tell everybody to vote for her even though we know she's not black, but to them it's symbolism and identity politics. And of course, we already know, you know they already been paid off, put it that way. They, they are guns for hire for the black community to come out and tell us who to vote for because we're black. You know what I'm saying? They, they try to throw that old, your mama black and all that bullshit at us. You know what I'm saying? Just cause you're black, you gotta vote Democrat, right? You know, the stuff that we've been hearing for, I don't know how long, you know, Democrats trying to tell us we need to vote for them. They try to shame you into voting for them. And you know, they're not giving us anything in return, so why should we vote? But let's go ahead and hear what Dr. Umar has to say, right? Um, you guys go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, share, helps the channel grow, and let's go ahead and get into it. Fair use, fair use. Come on, Ricky Smiley and Steve Harvey. Ricky Smiley? Let me come on the Ricky Smiley Show. Let's talk about election 2024. Let me come on the Steve Harvey Show. Talk to me, Steve. How much did they pay you to push Kamala? The price is right. Steve Harvey, what's the price right, my brother? What's the price is right? When the price is right, the Negro Peans will unite. When the price is right, the Negro Peans will unite. <laughs> Talking about Mega Evers died for Kamala Harris to be president. We want tangibles over tokenism. We want tangibles over radio talk. We want tangibles over television talk. We want tangibles over tokens. Dr. Umar Johnson, he's back this time with a word for Ricky Smiley, Steve Harvey, and the rest of the boule. We're going to go ahead and get into it, but first, take a second to make sure you're subscribed to the channel and click the notification bell for all updates. Won't waste any time, let's go ahead and jump into it. Ricky Smiley and Steve Harvey, listen. If Uncle Steve Harvey and Uncle Ricky Smiley want to go hard for Kamala Harris, that is their business. If Ricky Smiley and Steve Harvey want to go hard for Kamala Harris, they have a right to do that. They have a right to do that. What they don't have a right to do is shame other Africans into voting for her. They cannot do that. That they, they were wrong for that. You can't shame people into not voting for someone who has no record of doing nothing for them. Now that's where they're wrong. That's where they're wrong. You know. Uh, Steve Harvey's logic didn't make any sense. He said, if we don't vote, we won't get nothing. Well, you've been voting and you ain't got nothing. See, I'm on this radio show. I'm hearing all these people talking about, 
I'm not voting if they're not doing nothing for us. Listen to me. If you do not vote, the analytics will show. They know how many women vote, how many, they know the age you are when you vote. If we don't vote, how are we going to ask for something next time? Shut up, Black. <laughs> if you ain't got no voting power. See, this is why I can't take men like Steve Harvey seriously. Y'all heard that bullshit he just, he just spewed out his mouth? Talking about if we don't, you know, vote now, we can't ask for nothing later. Motherfucker, we've been doing this shit for 90 some years, man. Black folks been voting for Democrats and hadn't been getting anything in return. And now all of a sudden, this election season, you want to say, oh, we got to just vote for him now and maybe later we can ask for something. <laughs> you dumb motherfucker. Boy, I, I tell you, man, this is some bullshit. Y'all don't see the play? All you out here, I mean, yo, like I said, I know it's a lot of people that vote Democrats. You've been doing it for your whole life, but. Sooner or later, you got to wake up and smell the coffee. Sooner or later, you got to you got to look at it for what it is. They're not going to do anything for you. And for somebody like this to sit up and say, vote for this woman because they see her as black because she's an AKA, you know, no, nowhere has she talked about her politics on what she's trying to do, even though we can pretty much see where it's going. Still, they want you to vote for her because she's so-called black. She's so-called D9. It's all identity politics and symbolism. And, of course, you know, you got people trying to shame you into doing it. How, how, how can you vote for, for, um, vote for a party that, that will shame you into doing it because you don't want to, right? Or who will try to, you know, tell you you need to do it because you're black your mama black you know you've done all this your whole life let's just keep doing it and later on we can ask for something later that's that's the whole problem we've been black people have been voting democrats um been voting for the democrats and trying to ask for something later <laughs> the shit don't work so people like steve and and ricky just need to go sit down because they're not doing us any service man but that's what that's what they do they sit up here and put these folks in our face and think we're supposed to listen to them because of their status that shit ain't playing we got we gotta we gotta stop doing that ricky smiley i love my brother but he was pretty emotional he's talking about supreme court justice katanji swearing in vice president harris they both belong to black greek fraternities They'll get sworn in on Dr. King's Earth Day. That's all empty symbolism. We're done with that. You got a member of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated reading in a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated into the damn White House. What's Come wrong on, with y'all? Oh, on man. MLK Holiday. But y'all mad because she ain't talking about who, reparations. Who was a man, member? Who was a member of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated? Come on. Now. Come on now. Game. Oh my God, Game that just changer. gave me chills. Mm. That gave Rocky. me chills. Game changer, Rocky. dog. That's all empty symbolism. We're done with that. You have to give us tangibles, not symbols, Brother Ricky Smiley. Tangibles, not symbols. One is an AKA, one is a Delta. What that got to do with miseducation? One is an AKA, one is a Delta. What that got to do with mass incarceration? One is an AKA, one is a Delta. What that got to do with gentrification and homelessness? That is nothing but empty symbolism. The member of one black sorority swearing in the member of another black sorority on the solar return of a brother ancestor, Dr. King, who belonged to a black male fraternity. That's all fine and well. But telling black people they should vote for the symbol. Telling black people they should vote for the symbol. The symbol is not going to serve us, Brother Ricky. We need substance, my brother. We need substance. I don't care about who get mad. I know I'm right. Exactly. I know I'm right. Y'all need to stop. Do y'all realize Mega Evers died for voting rights? All these people that have risked their life from slavery up until the civil rights movement. This is what Dr. King died for. This is what Mega Evers died for. Mega Evers did not die for Kamala Harris to become president. Stop the cap up. Dr. King did not die for Kamala Harris to become president. Stop the cap up. 
the purpose behind Fannie Lou Hamer's Voting Rights Act. The purpose behind the Fannie Lou Hamer Voting Rights Act was for black people to be in a position to use their vote so they could receive tangibles. Voting is not supposed to be a symbol. Voting is supposed to be a transaction, a power transaction. You want my vote? We want your resources. You want my vote? We want the resources. Voting is not supposed to be a ritual. It is not supposed to be a symbol. It is supposed to be a transaction. You want my vote? We want some tangibles. If we can't get no tangibles, you can't get no vote. Steve Harvey said, they can't give us no reparations. What'd he say? If we don't vote, how we gonna ask for something next time? If you ain't got no voting power, you talking about reparations. Ain't nobody finna give you no reparations and you don't vote. Shut up, Black. Again! You fucking idiots! Oh, why you think they finna give us some money? No how, man. I hope they do. They owe us. I go down there. We not gonna get no reparations if we don't vote. You've been voting Democrat for 93 years, Steve Harvey. Been voting Democrat for 93 years, Steve Harvey. How many more years you gotta vote Democrat to get some reparations? The problem with you black celebrities, the problem with you black celebrities, you are the new black bourgeoisie. You are the new black bourgeoisie. And you are going out of your way to stay relevant with the white power structure by trying to shame black people into voting for people who don't do anything with them. That ended with Barack Obama. That ended with Barack Obama the new generation of American Africans. These under 30s today, they not like the under 30s of Barack Obama 16 years ago. So you can't seduce them with emotions. You can't seduce them with intellectualism. You can't seduce them with symbols and empty promises. You can't get over on them like you got over on their parents. You can't get them to the polls on November the 4th with no damn a Delta swearing in an AKA on an Alpha's uh, birthday. That don't mean nothing to us. We respect Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. I love my Delta Queens. We respect Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. I love my Alpha Queens. We Alpha Phi Alpha Sorority. I love my Alpha Brothers, but that ain't got nothing to do with this. This is not sorority business. This is American African business. I said this is not sorority business. This is American African business. And if Kamala Harris, Donald Trump, Jill Stein, Cornell West, if they can't take care of African business, the American African business, don't come to me. Black vote ain't for sale no more. Black vote ain't for sale. We bartering on business. We standing on business. Bring us some tangibles or get out of my face. Ricky Smiley, I love you. But crying on the radio for Kamala Harris, my brother? That's an all-time low. Don't do that again, Ricky Smiley. Don't you get on your radio show and cry for Kamala. And, and, and as a black man, I stand proudly with Kamala Harris this morning with tears in my eyes. Uh, uh, your grandmother's cleaning up white people's house and cleaning and scrubbing floors and doing all of this stuff. All these black people made all these sacrifices for us. <laughs> Don't you do that, my brother. If you wanna cry for Kabama Harris, if you wanna cry for Kabama Harris, you do that in the privacy of your house. But if we're going to be honest, Steve Harvey and Ricky Smiley, and I love you both, no hate to my big brothers. But if we're going to be honest, Ricky Smiley and Steve Harvey, y'all only carried on because y'all got paid.
paid to carry on. Can we please be honest? Can we see? I want y'all to understand, overstand, and understand what King Kong is talking about. Y'all carried on because y'all got paid to carry on. Kamala Harris and the Democratic Plantation is paying you celebrities, paying you to shame black people into voting. Y'all know we not gonna get nothing out of that vote. Message to all black men who left the Democratic Party. I'm gonna offer you this one time, one time opportunity to come back. You can come back. You have until Sunday, 12 high noon. We'll take you back. We'll take you back. There's no more blue, no matter who. It's come on, I'm on a bang, bang. Somebody said Kamala Harris don't even have a. Somebody said Kamala Harris don't even have no political positions on her website. They said Kamala Harris don't even have any political positions on the website. They said Kamala Harris don't even list what she stands for on the website. They said black folks are so brainwashed into identity politics. You don't need to tell them what you want to do for them because we never do nothing for them. Just tell them you're black and they should vote. Just tell them you're black and they should vote. You don't even have to give black people a platform. Just be black. Just be black. Those emotional religious Negroes, they don't know their left hand from their right hand. Just tell them you're black and vote for me. And there it is. Umar Johnson said Ricky Smiley and Steve Harvey, they are on call with a check, their own personal checks. Ricky need to stop crying for Kamala. Mega Evers and MLK did not die for Kamala to be president. And folks like Fannie Lou Hamer sacrificed their lives for us, not her. So yeah, you guys, that's, that's that, man. But every now and then dr umar but then be, be dropping some gems you know i don't too much care for, for dr umar especially when it comes to that school mess because he is on some bs when it comes to that school but like i said when it comes down to these politics and stuff like that other you know things dr umar makes some sense right so yeah you guys drop some comments down below let me know what you think um yeah my thing is i'm just tired of, of these you know so-called D9s, you know, black boo, bougie, or whatever you want to call them, boule, <clears throat> trying to tell us how to vote, right? Even even when it when the it's stirring them in the face that Kamala ain't up to nothing, you know what I'm saying? But it's the fact is they trying to come out and rally us, and you can tell the agenda, you can tell the push is to get black men on board with voting for some BS that ain't gonna serve us no purpose, right? And the fact that they're basically like i hate to say it everybody's using this term but they playing in y'all faces that's exactly what they doing and you guys just sitting up there watching them do it and a lot of y'all are agreeing with them and a lot of y'all gonna get tricked into voting for somebody who's not gonna do you any good you know what i'm saying but like i said i can't tell you who to vote for all i can say is be informed and just notice that how whenever election time comes around they do the same dance the same two-step back and forth and they promise you this and don't deliver nothing you know i don't see how people can sit up and lie in your face and then try to tell you oh but we need your vote you know i can't no that i, I can't rock with that but you guys drop some comments down below let me know what you think it's your boy jay larone with jay larone presents you guys be good to yourselves by all means let's be good to one another and i'll catch you in the next one peace
bucket naked.